something O8. And this would be A E1. The this portion comes from here. Right? So this portion right, is the alpha something O8 portion, A, E, Y. This portion is just the alkene portion. Simple case. This group is methyl. This really is the alkanoate coming from the alkanoic acid. Right? So this would be called Methyl, one word, propanoate. Because if, if I imagine there was an H here, I would just call this propanoic acid. So the same way nitric acid gives nitrate, and sulfuric acid gives sulfate, and um, perchloric acid gives perchlorate, alkanoic acids give alkanoate. Propanoic acid gives propanoate. Uh, what would I call this compound? Um, okay, so that group is isopropyl. And if I try to name this part as the acid, Right? Hold on, I'm going to write O8 here, so let's go ahead and write O8. It is an inO8, because the triple bond. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, so it's a hexin, it's a hex, it's a hexin O8. But it's got a tritium on carbon 6. So it's a 6 tritio hexenone. So this compound is simply called isopropyl, imagine the space is smaller. So it's isopropyl 6 tritio hexenone. So that's an amide. Carbon backbone is unsaturated with a carbon carbon double bond. So it's an N amide. It's got one, two, three, four, five carbons. So it's a pentenamide. Pentenamide. Um, I've got to say where the double bond is. So it's carbon one, two, three, four. So it's four pentenamide. Um, or pent four N amide. I don't need to give locus because that's the, carb that's the major functional group, so that's going to be here. And, um, yeah. Um, and the last one, oh, no, there, there are two more. Um, there are acid halides, and uh, so acid halides, 
which are R Siegel X, where X is a halogen, right? R Siegel under X. And these are called ALK A E Y Anoil Hela. All the rules apply, so I'm just going to draw a couple simple examples and move on. So this will be, I'm going to write oil chloride, two words. One, two, three, well, carbon chain is saturated, so anoil. One, two, three, propanol. I'm going to write oil, bromide. The carbon backbone is, has a triple bond in it, so it's an, yeah. it's an inoil, bromide. One, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So it's a hex, inoil, bromide. Where is, the, where is this group? On carbon number five. One, two, three, four, five. So this compound is 5 hexanoid bromide or hex 5 inoil bromide. Okay. Um, nitrons. And then the last, the last of the lot, who oh, have missed anybody out, the last of the lot are nitriles, which are R. C triple on N, and they're called ALK something A E Y nitrile. So it's an alkano nitrile, alkeno nitrile, alkino nitrile. So just a couple quick examples, all the rules apply. So this, this is. Um, Let's just pick one. So this is, is an O nitrile. Carbon, carbon double oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Carbon, carbon uh, a double bond. Now this triple bond is not C triple bond C, right? So it's not an in as part of the nitrile function. Um, I've, I've got a carbon, carbon double bond in the backbone. So it's an NO nitrile. It is one two, three, four carbons long, so it's a butanol nitrile, but it's got a hydroxy group as well, so it's a hydroxy butanol nitrile. Major functional group, um, uh, carbon one, um, and so I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this two hydroxy, Right, so this is one, two, three, four, two hydroxy, but three N no nitrile. So two hydroxy, but three N no nitrile. And I don't need to give a configuration for this because it's not capable of geometric isomerism. This carbon has two H's. Um, Okay. All right. So that's a that's a pretty quick dive into into organic nomenclature. Uh, so you add this to the stuff we had before, and that uh, that would complete the topic on organic nomenclature. Um, okay. Sounds sounds good.